Welcome to Panzer War, a game developed by Shanghai Windy. This video is going to feature a Stroom Tiger mod. However, the tank or close assault gun in the center of your screen is not the mod version. It is the one included with the game. If you've played this one, you probably aren't too fancy about it, given it has a 26-second reload rate, a fairly low HP of only 800, given it was in the real world. This tank had very heavy armor. That is not overly realistic. The HP value, it does have a forward speed of 30 kilometers an hour, which you will probably notice is quite slow in the game, but is probably more realistic than the mod version. It also has two shells, which have a higher velocity than the real version would have had. The mod version, there it is in the center of your screen, don't pay too much attention to the camouflage. It does come with a built-in camouflage, and I've got another camouflage over top of that to get a different effect. It does have a crane built on it for ammo loading in the non-stowed position. The hatch in the back is open for some reason. I don't know why it'd be doing that when it's going into the battlefield. This tank, or heavy assault gun, is quite heavy and was designed for urban warfare. So the ammo in all sides is actually quite heavy. It is built on the chassis of a Tiger I tank, which you may notice it looks very similar to. And this vehicle is 20% more in weight, which is mostly due to the armor on the vehicle. You may also notice in the shadows, you can see lines on the chassis portion or tub portion of this vehicle, which is a Zemerit anti-magnetic kind of armor uh, that would have been applied to it. That is the difference in the mod for visuals. It does have a one of the later versions of the barrel on it as well. With regard to reload time, it is only 10 seconds for this vehicle, which is unrealistically fast, but it does allow for more fun when you're playing the game. The HP value is 1200, which you'll appreciate. And the forward speed is 42 kilometers an hour, which does make a difference in your gameplay. However, it does only come with high explosive shell. And then the shell available with this mod is about 20% slower than the shell on the real vehicle, of which the Nazi Germans only got around to building 18 of them before the close of World War II. They did enter the war very late and did not participate much in their design purpose of close urban warfare, which explains the heavy armor. However, it did have a range of its projectiles up to about 6,000 meters. The projectiles could weigh up to 275 kilograms. The charge mo rocket motor and all and shell, which were two parts, was a, about one and a half meter long. The barrel is 380 millimeters in diameter. It was able to do a considerable amount of damage, and you'll notice that on the battlefield you get a satisfying large hole in your opposition if you do a direct hit, giving you're using a high explosive. You do not need to do direct hits. You'll create some damage if you get very close to your target as well. Given the slow velocity of your ammo, you'll have a little trouble dialing in the elevation you'll need to hit your target. You'll have to guess. You'll need to practice a lot to get a good elevation. And you'll have to 
raise and lower your turret to get a distance to your target to guess the elevation you'll need. The characteristics are there on the right for this mod. They will also be in the description as well as the comparisons uh, characteristics for the Stroom Tiger available in the game. Notice the mod is not spelled Stroom Tiger. It is spelled a little bit different. I'm going to take this tank and, or assault gun out onto the battlefield doing offline battles. I'll use HP mode because it'll be easier to see, keep track of what's going on in the battlefield. I'll be doing several battles and there may be a slight amount of commentary over the battles when I get there. Here's another strong tiger, it's a bot of the mod. You'll notice it is not as overly effective on the battlefield. So you don't have to ban the strong tiger from being a bot usually. Giving the slow shell speed of this vehicle and then the mortar, it is possible to hide out behind hills and the enemy cannot target you. Enemy vehicle destroyed. As you can use parabolic shooting to uh, take them out. Our battles don't go quite that well, and we did win a prize hunt here too. And we won 10 kills in that battle. Let's do another one. Another one down. 
So there you have it, the STRU Tiger, what available for Panzer War. It's a rather slow velocity shell, it's only got the high explosives, but you can do a considerable amount of damage to the enemy with it. It does take a little bit of practice to work out your parabolic shooting, however, I do recommend it as it pretty fun vehicle weapon to use in your game and you don't have to ban it from being a bot there's no need to it the bots do not play it well